Chapter 5 The Ring of Riches After the second year, the soul came down to the sea and called the young fisherman. He came out of the sea and said, Why do you call me? The soul answered, Come nearer. I want to speak to you, because I saw marvellous things. So he came nearer and sat in the water and listened. The soul said to him, When I left you, I went towards the south and travelled. Everything precious comes from the south. I travelled six days to the city of Ashtar. I saw the city on the morning of the seventh day. The city is like a bazaar. It is wonderful. Merchants sit on silk carpets. Some of them sell strange perfumes from the islands of the Indian Sea and the oil of red roses. Other merchants sell fantastic jewellery with tiger claws in gold and leopard claws in gold also. The people sell all kinds of fruit, purple figs, yellow melons, white grapes, red gold oranges, and oval lemons of green gold. I saw an elephant. It stopped and began eating the oranges, and the people laughed. You cannot imagine how strange these people are. When they are happy, they buy a bird in a cage. Then they release the bird, because they want to be happier. When they are sad, they hit their bodies with thorns, because they want to be sadder. On the feast of the new moon, the emperor came out of his palace and went into the mosque to pray. The people covered their faces, but I showed him no form of respect. That night the guards of the emperor came for me. They accompanied me into the palace. We walked across a great court, and then we entered a beautiful garden. At the end of the garden there was a pavilion. Then the captain of the guard told me to enter. The young emperor was there, on a bed of lion skins, and he held a falcon. A Nubian stood behind him. A large scimitar of steel was on a table next to the bed. When the emperor saw me, he was worried, and said to me, What is your name? Don't you know that I am emperor of this city? I did not answer him. He indicated the scimitar, and the Nubian took it and hit me with great violence. It did not hurt me. The Nubian was terrified and went away. The Emperor tried to kill me with a lance, but he didn't hurt me. He tried to kill me with an arrow, but I stopped it in the air. Then the Emperor said to me, why can't I hurt you? Are you a prophet, or the son of a prophet? Please leave my city tonight. You are here now, and I am not its lord. I answered him, Give me half of your treasure, then I will go away. So he took my hand and accompanied me to a large room. He touched one of the walls and it opened. Then we walked down a corridor. He said a magic word, and a granite door opened. The emperor covered his eyes with his hands to protect them from the light of the jewels there. It was really marvellous inside. There were huge tortoise shells full of pearls and many other wonderful jewels. Then the emperor said to me, this is my house of treasure, and half of it is yours. But you must go tonight. My father, the sun, must not see this. I cannot kill a man in the city. I answered him, The gold and all the precious jewels are yours. I only want your little ring. The emperor frowned. It is only a ring of lead. 
he cried. And it has no value. Take your half of the treasure and go away from my city. No, I answered. I know that it is really the ring of riches. The emperor trembled and said, Take all the treasure and go from my city. You can also have my half of the treasure. Then I did something strange, but it is not important. What is important is that I put the ring of riches in a cave. You can arrive there in one day. The owner of this ring is richer than all the kings of the world. But the young fisherman laughed. <laughs> Love is better than riches, he cried, and the little mermaid loves me. No, nothing is better than riches, said the soul. Love is better, answered the young fisherman. He went back to the sea, and the soul walked away and cried. Chapter 6 the soul's third journey. After the third year, the soul came down to the sea and called the young fisherman. He came out of the sea and said, Why do you call me? The soul answered, Come nearer. I want to speak to you, because I saw marvellous things. So he came nearer and sat in the water and listened. The soul said to him, I went to an inn near a river in a city. I sat with sailors, and they ordered food and drink. After some time, an old man entered with a carpet and a lute. He put the carpet on the floor. When he played the lute, a girl came in and began to dance. There was a veil on her face, and she had no shoes. Her feet moved on the carpet like little white pigeons. It was really marvellous, and it is only one day away from here. The young fisherman heard these words. He remembered that the little mermaid had no feet and could not dance. He thought, It is only one day away, and I can return to my love. He laughed, stood up in the water and walked towards the beach. When he reached the beach, his soul ran towards him and entered him. Then the young fisherman saw on the sand the shadow of the body, the body of the soul. They began their journey, and the next evening they came to a city. The young fisherman said to his soul, Does she dance in this city? His soul answered him, Not in this city, but another. Let's enter this city anyway. So they entered and walked in the streets. The young fisherman saw a silver cup on a stall in the street of the jewellers. His soul said to him, Take that silver cup and hide it. So he took the silver cup and hid it, and they went quickly out of the city. When they were far from the city, the young fisherman threw the cup away. He said to his soul, It was not a good thing to take the cup and hide it. But his soul answered him, Calm down, calm down. On the evening of the second day, they came to a city. The young fisherman said to his soul, Does she dance in this city? His soul answered him, Not in this city, but in another. Let's enter this city anyway. So they entered and walked in the streets. In the street of the sellers of sandals, the young fisherman saw a child. His soul said to him, Hit that child. So he hit the child, and the child cried, and then they went quickly out of the city. When they were far from the city, the young fisherman became angry and said to his soul, It was not a good thing to hit the child. But his soul answered him, Calm down, calm down. On the evening of the third day, they came to a city. The young fisherman said to his soul, Does she dance in this city? His soul answered him, 
Perhaps this is the city. Let's enter. They walked in the streets, but the young fisherman could not find the inn near the river. He wanted to leave, but his soul said to him, Let's stay here tonight. Perhaps there are robbers outside. So the fisherman sat down in the marketplace. After some time, a merchant came and said to him, Why are you here? The market is closed. The young fisherman answered him, I can't find an inn in this city. I have no family here, and I need a room for the night. We are all of the same family, said the merchant, and one God made us. Come with me. I have a room. The young fisherman followed the merchant to his house. The merchant gave him good food and a comfortable room. The young fisherman then went to sleep. After three hours, his soul woke him and said, Go to the room of the merchant and kill him and take his gold. The young fisherman went into the merchant's room. There was a sword near his feet and nine purses of gold next to the bed. When he touched the sword, the merchant woke up and said, Why do you want to kill me? I gave you good food and a room. I was kind to you. His soul said to the young fisherman, Hit him. So he hit him, and the merchant lost consciousness. He then took the nine purses of gold and went quickly away from the city. When they were far from the city, the young fisherman said to his soul, It was bad to hit the merchant and take his gold. But his soul answered him, Calm down, calm down. No! cried the young fisherman. I cannot be calm. You told me to do bad things, and I hate these things. I also hate you. Why did you do these things? His soul answered him. When you sent me out into the world, you did not give me a heart. So I learned to do all these things and love them. What are you saying? murmured the young fisherman. You know, answered his soul. You did not give me a heart. So stay calm. You will give other people all kinds of pain, and you will receive all kinds of pleasure. The young fisherman said to his soul, No, you are bad, and I forgot about my love, and did many bad things because of you. His soul answered him, You did not forget that you sent me away without a heart. Let's go to another city and enjoy life together. We have nine purses of gold. But the young fisherman took the nine purses of gold and threw them on the ground. No, I will not come with you, and I will send you away again, said the young fisherman. He turned his back to the moon. With the little knife he tried to cut his shadow from his feet to eliminate his soul. But his soul did not leave him, and said to him, The magic of the witch will not work. It only works once in a man's life. I will stay with you for ever. And this is your punishment and your recompense. Now the young fisherman was desperate and cried because his soul was very bad. When it was day, the young fisherman said to his soul, I will tie my hands together. Then I cannot do what you tell me to do. I will return to the bay because my love sings there. I will call her. I will tell her about the bad things I did, and the bad things you did to me. When he arrived on the beach, he freed his hands and called the mermaid, but she did not come. His soul laughed at him and said, <laughs> Your love gives you little joy. Come with me to the valley of pleasure. That is better for you. The young fisherman did not answer his soul. He built a house by the bay and lived there for a year. Every morning he called the mermaid, and every midday he called her again, and at night he spoke her name, but she never came to see him.
and he did not see her anywhere. His soul always asked him to do bad things, but the young fisherman never listened to him because the power of his love was so great.